one. All right, we got a special edition of the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast today. I'm your brother, old guy from Hip Hop News Uncensored. And sitting across to me is my co-host. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man, Sam. And viral Hip Hop News, like my cousin said, you're in the building for a special edition of the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Oh, God, what's good, my brother? Peace, peace, man. It's a Sunday. We usually don't do the podcast on a Sunday, but we definitely want to talk to you guys today about what's going on in the world. And we got a breaking development. Before we get to that breaking development going on with Faith Evers and Stevie J, I want to talk about the many protests that we see going on all around the United States. Um, it even trickled down into New Jersey. Um, mm-hmm. We both seen Meek Mill post up. You know, a police car on fire, they're looting the Apple stores. And this trickled down and it started from George Floyd being killed, executed, murdered by the Minneapolis Police Department a week ago or so. And it's, and it's spilling over from city to city, Sam, man. Um, what are your thoughts seeing the images, seeing the people on Facebook and all over now? Uh, going in on every city now seems like in America, damn near, or spreading to be that soon. I got mixed emotions, and the only reason they're mixed is because I don't know how authentic a lot of it is. Um, we all know that a lot of things get staged and a lot of things get planned, and in this right. situation in particular, it's just a lot of things that kind of seem weird to me. But that being said, um, the other side of it is I feel like very soon we may be at the end of this bullshit. And I right. think we, we we may be on to something here because, unfortunately, no battle has ever been won in the history of life without right. there being casualty, without there being battle, yeah. Yeah. without there being war, however you want to phrase it. Mm-hmm. Um, this is what this country has been built on. Definitely. They've definitely. been poking at this bear for over 400 years, and now the bear is beginning to bite the fuck back. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people are finding themselves uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. And they're safe and tucked in little worlds and environments. And I'm glad that they're finding themselves uncomfortable because it's the only real way that we're going to see change. Yeah. You're going to have people, if you aren't genuinely a racist human being and you care about the well-being of everybody, then you need to stand on your side. If you are a racist person and you only care about your side and your race and your people, you're going to stand on that side. But lines right. are being drawn and we're going to decide who you are and who the fuck you aren't. And within the next two decades, I firmly believe may be over this shit. I don't know what's going to happen in between right. to eradicate everything, but I'm thinking right now we're on the right track. So I guess to ask answer the question about burning this shit down, I'm kind of cool with it right now. Yeah, definitely. And before I go in, man, this episode is brought to you by our brother Ali right, right there. Know. Black Gold Project. You see it right there. This episode is brought to you by that. Make sure y'all check this CD out right now. All right. But I mean, my opinion will be on this situation. It's not surprising to me. And I understand the part about like it being some controlled opposition of people are setting it, but that still can't negate that people are sick and fucking tired yep. of what's going on. And, you know, we're forgiving people. So we, you know, a lot of times we see something happen. We're like, all right, we're going to chill. But now it's happening over and over. Now they're putting it blatantly in our faces to the point where, you know, um, people are going to start reacting. And like the point that you made, like, you know, you see all these different, you know, um, battles that happen, whether it be civil war, world war, any war, you know, those people fighting for their freedom right here in this country. The Jews, you know, black people continuing to try to fight and enough for trying to appeal to the morale, enough for trying to, you know, um, write laws and different things on the books and saying, look, would you please stop beating this week? Nah, sometimes you gotta stand up and you gotta fight and things have to be agitated to get some type of results. And, you know, I say too, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. We don't own this shit anyway. Mm-hmm. People talk about these communities and that shit could be replaced, mm-hmm. but people getting killed by police and us killing each other can't be. They can't be replaced, you know what I mean, when a life is gone. So, you know, it's going to get – this country is ripe for a real good revolution. It's ripe yeah. for it. It's been, it's been long enough. What I also say is this – us as black people need a solid leader, and we don't have that. That's, that's scary. That's and, scary and that's the only part about this that makes me kind of go, damn, because, all right, after – the smoke is gone and after the flames have burned out and we have their attention, then what? Get behind Farrakhan. Then what? And I'm not, I have no, you're talking about a man that's damn near 90 years old. 
Or the nation of Islam. I mean, I'm just I'm just throwing stuff out there. I'm not saying do it, but people I, I don't know there. what the answer is. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but it has to be a clear agenda to where there's some serious consequences to where a cop would not even fathom killing a black man at a I traffic agree. stop. I agree. Like they would an Asian or a or a Arab right. or a uh, um a Jewish man or woman. Like right. they wouldn't even think twice about it. Right. But snap of a finger because they scared because we've always been kind of stereotyped as being in this animalistic world like that's the zoo in there and there's loose animals and you don't go in that zoo with those loose animals because they'll eat you alive and they put that and implanted that fear not only in white kids in suburbia but even black kids but how in though? suburbia through the movies could tell them through the music mm-hmm. all this stuff that we always sit up here and say oh that we can't be depicting ourselves like that because mm-hmm. now everybody thinks you're that if mm-hmm. everything is pushed out that you're a thug or you're a woman beater, you're a cheater, you're this, that, everybody's going to start to think, oh, this is them. That's why we always, on this podcast, we say, all right, yo, better images. You can have your little ratchet shit here and there, but let's get these better images of us so we can really show the reflection of ourselves, how we really are and not how they think we are. Because as long, and then and it goes with us too, as long as we continue to call ourselves bitches, niggas, hoes, and degrade ourselves, people are going to continue to do it, period. Agreed. Well you know said. I mean? Definitely. I want to move on to the breaking story today that we have today. Before I get to that, I want to implore everybody to go check out my brother Ali's Let Black Gold Project. This episode is brought to you by the Black Gold album right now by our brother Ali, formerly of the Saint Lunatics. Let's talk about Faith Evans, Sandman. Now, earlier today, the story actually broke that uh, Faith Evans was the rest arrested on domestic violence. It ha- pretty much happened last week. Now, the backstory is that the police were called to their house and they said they were in a, uh, her and Stevie J were in a uh, heated argument. They show up, they see scratches all over, all over Stevie J's face. Consequently, Faith Evans was taken into custody and booked on felony domestic violence. And they're saying that she bonded out that same day. Now, I hate when stories kind of like this kind of make it you know, to the mainstream media, obviously TMZ got their hands on it because this type of stuff happens. And we already know the scenario or probably what went down with the situation. And no, no couples are perfect. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Stuff happens. But what do you think about this, Sam, man? Faith Evans being arrested for domestic violence against Stevie J. I think it's unfortunate that we um, got to see this ugly situation play out. Now, we don't know the details, but like you said, one man can imagine. Right. What this scenario was about. Um, and it's just like <laughs> cheating. <laughs> and at some point you would think that and I and I'm not sitting back and feeling like acting as though I know what Faith Evans is feeling or anything, but it would just come to a certain point where it's like you've probably been through this once or twice. You already know who that man is, even though you think he'd really changed. I don't know. I don't really like getting involved with these are people. See, I don't watch the shit, show, so shit, I don't know shit. how Stevie J was. I have no idea yeah. about the show, but I do know who Stevie J is. One of the greatest songwriters of all time. Oh, shit. And we had Q He's Parker here from 112. Uh-oh. And he told us it wasn't drinking. It wasn't clubbing. It wasn't drugs. It was women. Damn. You already know. He should have been committed to that one lady. He should have been cheap, if that's the case. I mean, I don't even think of one thing. I mean, you see Jaheim. He said, put that woman first, and he out here looking crazy. <laughs> God bless him. Hope he's well, but it stresses you to fuck I mean, out. at the end of the day, man, I think it's just about being honest with that woman, you mm-hmm. know, letting her know, like, all right, I want to see multiple women and you. Obviously, a lot of guys don't do it. And I think the reason why a lot of guys don't come out and say it is because they don't want to hurt that woman that they're with. And they want to kind of have their cake and eat it, too. You know, and, you know, I, I was even thinking when Q was here, I'm like, yo, you're you supposed to be doing, dog. Mm-hmm. You're an R&B singer. One of the most successful R&B groups of all time. You're on the baddest label of all time, bad boy. You got the best rapper ever, Biggie Small. You're supposed to be knocking these chicks down. Come on, bro. You're supposed to, but it's kind of hard when the person you just hurt is telling your kids and doing this and throwing this these pounds of guilt on your ass. It's kind of hard to justify when you're looking at your kid like, damn, why you know and why you got uh, information that you got no business even having any fucking way. How you but feel you about the cheating it. thing, though, like with the women and whatnot? Do you feel like that Faith Evans is justified for scratching this dude up if him, if he was cheating? <sighs> <laughs> is he justified? <laughs> like, all right, you know, oh, she, all right, let's say, okay, she seen something in his phone. Yeah. It was a chick maybe showing some booty, titties, whatever. 
And she seen the conversation. They was talking, maybe whatever. They smashing. She found out. Yeah. Now she walking up, scratching and beating him up. Is that justified? <laughs> it's happened to me. <laughs> so and I'll, I'll, I can only say this, right? Because when it happened to me, she was like, if you were just honest with me instead of lying, Bullshit. it would have been different. Come on. So I guess if I lied, it just brought on more, more physical uh, anger out of the person. Um, I really don't know. I can't. Uh, we can't justify or put uh, right or wrong on how somebody's going to react to a situation. He knew. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he was going to go and do what he had to do anyway, should have covered the shit up better. Have a <sighs> sixth phone. Have a this. Have a that. I don't know. But the dude seems like he has some terrible luck because he always gets caught. I think what the woman is there saying, like, not that they're going to stay with you, but like, all right, tell me you want to be a hoe so I can move on. I guess that's Or decide woman. to be here on my own, but let me know. Right. And women are going to decide that. Maybe, maybe they may want to get into action with you. I see a lot of people doing that. I never had a girl that was with that. I never that. met a female like that that I was with. But I know dudes life. that have. Like, them and a girl be knocking. I'm like, yo, why do you get some shit like that going? Word. You know what I mean? But, you know. It ain't in our cars, man. We born that <laughs> like fucking sitting at home <laughs> with our families and shit. But it's all good, man. Uh, all you could do is pray for them, too. Faith Evans and Stevie J. Damn, they in their 50s now. Shout out Stevie J, though, for not putting his hands on that woman. I hitting that woman because he probably would have got locked up, definitely. But she got locked up. You don't really see a woman getting locked up in a domestic. What goes to tell you that he was probably cooling, not hitting her, probably trying to defend himself. They said he had scratches on his face and were not on his body. There's no way in hell he could have hit face that was that is Biggie's well, that's Biggie's wife or, or former wife. She's the Ooh. widow of Biggie Small. Talk that about that. Talk friend. about that part. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't. That's what? messy. That's too fucking messy for me. But I know so damn well Steve, if you won't marry her, you can't hit her. So Stevie J was Who's first? Biggie's man. I was a dog. His right hand man. You think that's high, what boundaries you think he crossed, or it's like the nigga's dead? Like maybe you know. What do you think about that? Man code. That that is, that, that's hard, man bro. Code. Yeah, you don't do that, Stevie. You that's that's crazy, code. Stevie. That's and now, now she scratches your damn face up, my nigga. That's man code. I, I don't know. That's their business. Hopefully, they get out of it. Think Stevie J would come on the podcast and talk about it? I'd be dope. I would love him to. Yeah, we had uh, Peter Guns on here. And yeah. he was probably one of the biggest yeah. cheaters on that show, apparently, from what I heard. Okay. I he got a, you watched that shit? I never watched it, but <laughs> shit. A lot of people say it. Then he got his own shit. Got his yeah, own, yeah, I know. More cheaters now. Yeah. Him and Stevie J. I think it's something that we all just got to confront, you know, as men and women and realize that, you know, uh, people are just going to do them. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. And we got to just be more realistic with our expectations of each other in relationships. If you really expect somebody... You know, and, and this is mainly like I guess you get to an age where you ain't really having sex. You know what I mean? You're a grandpa, or whatever. The sex ain't really a thing. You could probably be faithful to a woman, but as long as you know, let me shut the fuck up, <laughs> man. Check out the podcast, man. The Hip Hop Uncensored podcast, the audio version. Go to Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, wherever, and listen to the full, unedited, raw, raw version of the podcast over there. This episode is brought to you by Ali's new project, Black. Gold Ali of the Saint Lunatics. I never remember that, brother. This is a powerful project. And this right now, this episode is actually brought to you by this project. Make sure you go check it out, Sam. And that's all I got on my side of the table. I just want to give a few shouts out. My man, uh, Vic, yeah. publicist, doing his damn thing out there, man, booking these interviews for us. And um, that's it, man. Y'all stay tuned to June, man. We are in the last day of May. Yeah. It's a hot month. Y'all go ahead and let us know what your favorite interview was to rock this crazy hot ass month of June. Oh, month of May, excuse me. June. It's just, it's hot. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all subscribe to all of the movements, the podcast, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, and all major online outlets, the YouTube, yeah. all three major platforms we got going on, clucking for y'all right now. Yes, sir. Like my brother, old guy said, this uh, podcast is sponsored by Ali, Black Gold. Missouri is in the building. Shout out to a real one. That's all I got, man. It's the same man, Viral Hip Hop News. Oh, God, Hip Hop News Uncensored. Together, we had a Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Over and out. Peace.